Bomani, we have to talk about this U.S. women's national team story. Because while the world champs await mediation for their gender discrimination lawsuit against U.S. soccer, U.S. soccer is refuting the claim that it pays the men more than the women in the first place. A federation fact sheet touts the women's higher guaranteed pay and their club salaries in the National Women's Soccer League, which is subsidized by U.S. soccer. A U.S. WNT spokesperson, meanwhile, calls all that accounting a ruse. So, Bo, what do you call that? Well, the counter argument that the women's soccer team is making and co-signed by the men, by the way, is basically that the accounting is a little bit funky, that they're not talking about base salary, which is what is important. They're also in talking about the more money being invested in the women's sports, the subsidization of the women's sports league, which is not exactly accounting as no. salary here. But the question is, what's the audience? Like, who are they trying to get this passed? Because if what they were just trying to do was get it out here, we invest as much in women as we do in men. That has been effective because in order to stop that, you got to go, all right, wait a minute. This is how it breaks down. And once you have to do that with numbers and a public expression of these things, it doesn't really sell. So I feel like they probably did okay with the audience they were seeking, even though it's probably a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, the audience they were seeking, I think, is not actually even in the mainstream at this point. This is the weird thing to me about this fight. It's not the... French national team or the German or the Spanish or Brazilian that is the women's national team's foremost opponent. It's U.S. soccer. Throughout this entire run through which they've become the most popular soccer players from America in the world, it's not been their opponents, it's been their own federation. And so the own federation here, their own federation here, has bungled this. Why would they do that, right? They have an analysis that they said is independently audited, which brings you to the complicated numbers that you mentioned. But I want to see an analysis of that analysis that says actually publicizing this ahead of time is actually good for our PR because that's the thing that this team is really good at, maybe even better at than soccer. And that's what I'm saying. Like the person that says I want to see an analysis of the analysis is not who they are talking to. And they'll be just fine passing that off because most people are not saying I want to see an analysis of the analysis, right? They're not going with that one, but it's it's basic respect stuff like that's all this seems to come down to as in most things with a wage gap whether it be by gender by race or anything else it's just the basic level of respect that is not present and if you don't believe the basic level of respect not present what's this dude's name right here carlos cordero, oh, this cordero. the check, president yeah check this out he's like watch me make this better we believe at u.s soccer that all female athletes deserve fair and equitable pay. And finally, equitable. but not last, winner of the Golden Boot, the tournament, top scorer, and the Golden Ball, the best player, Megan Rapinoe. There it is right there. Yeah. There's all your respect, baby. There's not how it is, right? Not how you pronounce her name. Right. But you cued in on equitable there. Why is that telling Because you? it's not the same thing as equal. Equitable is based on some notion of fairness, and the fairness is being determined by the larger group. Equal, that's the same amount of money. Equitable is what somebody thinks is right, and they seem to think it is right to pay them less. The argument seems to go pretty clearly in the other direction, but the only way that this swings back, somebody gonna have to miss some games. I don't know, if the courts don't do it, right, and the courts just might, but if the courts don't do it, somebody gonna have to take the fight to that next level. I just wonder if U.S. soccer realizes how wildly unpopular their position is. Because on the one hand, I understand if you have a deep analysis that makes you feel like, hey, the word isn't getting out there all the way, sure, point that out. But on the other hand, if the women's soccer team decided to say, we actually deserve more than the men because we are winning our games and we're really good, I think that that would also be very popular, and so what they're getting is neither of those things. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.